Here with Lime here for everything Xbox and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about the most recent Xbox 360 exploit where you can turn your console into an RGH console just with a USB stick. So first of all, I realize this has been out for a little bit and the updated version has been out just for a couple days, uh, maybe a little bit longer, but we're going to actually have follow-up videos to this. We're going to talk about your RGH, what you can actually do with it after how to set up some of your files. So first things first, we're going to go to system. This exploit is for a specific uh, setting or dashboard, I should say. What that is, is you're going to need 2.0.1 or 0.17559. So that'll be the first thing. If your console's not on that, I'll have a download link where you can actually go ahead. I'll discuss in a few minutes. Since we're here, what we're going to do is go ahead and take our USB stick. We're going to format it into a FAT32 uh, from our console. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to plug it into the thing here. We're going to go down to storage. And this right now is actually formatted as a NTFS. So it's going to show up as unformatted on the actual Xbox console. So we're going to go ahead, click that. We're going to hit format. We're going to hit yes. Anything on the stick obviously will be erased. Once we do this and it's formatted, we'll switch over to the PC side. So you guys can see what exactly we have to do. As you can see here, USB storage device, 117 gigs free. So we'll go ahead, we'll plug that into our console. Or sorry, not plug it into our console, into our computer. So these are the specific places you can go once you actually have your uh, USB stick formatted from your console. We're going to actually set, like I said, we're going to set things up on the PC side of things. This will be the spot first is digix.net. This will be the place if you do not have your current console up to the current dashboard, then what you'll do is go ahead, go to this link, do the system update 17559. Uh, that'll be the one thing there. There is instructions on here of how to do it. Basically, what you have to do is set that up. Um, if for some reason somebody's not familiar with that, I may have a video depending on the response back of how many people are having an issue. Uh, what we're going to do is go to next. You're going to need the Xbox 360 bad update version 1.2. You're going to download the tools.zip and the Xbox 360 bad update retail USB version 1.2.zip. And what you want to do is download these, probably put them in a folder on your computer so it's easier just to manipulate it after. You're going to obviously need the Rock Band Blitz. You can do it from two different games, but the one we're going to be using is the one here. There's two different download locations. This is the trial version, basically. Uh, there's a DigiX and then there's a Google Drive Mirror. Every once in a while, the DigiX is a little bit slower, so the Google Drive mirror is actually faster. But take your pick, it's not a very big file, so it doesn't really matter. Next thing we're going to download is the XD Unshackle. I have it on this page because this could actually change, so I'm not going to direct it to a 1.0, or I'm not going to direct it to the 1.02. I'm going to take you guys to this page in case you're having to watch this six months down the road and we have something newer. So what I'll do is go ahead and I'll click on this, and then from there you'll actually be able to go down and download the actual file itself and then the last one you're going to need is aurora and we're going to go to the phoenix page all the links for everything will be down below in the description we're going to do aurora 0.7b.2 we're going to go ahead and click on that and download that so now that we have everything set up here what we're going to do is go into our specific i've actually put everything into the location here now i do have to open up my OneDrive for my console Basically, this will be here. This will be my USB drive. It's formatted right now. The name of this we don't actually need. I'm just going to delete that. And then as for the content folder, it's sort of uh, not showing up. It's not clear. It's sort of translucent. And that's because it's showing up as a hidden file right now. I have Windows 11. I'm not sure if that's if it applies to everybody. I'm just going to click it off of hidden. We're going to hit apply. And we're going to hit OK. Also, too, it actually says read only. And we're going to go ahead and click that off. Hit apply on that too, uh, because we do want to make some changes to stuff. So first things first, we're going to actually take the uh, bad update. We're going to go into here, Rock Band Blitz. Once you have that open, you're going to grab the two files here, or two folders, I should say. Go ahead, grab those, take them over to the right-hand side. And now you're going to have those onto the USB stick that you're going to use for your exploit. We're going to go back after. And what we're going to do is use the Rock Band Blitz trial, obviously. We're going to copy that, take the content folder, drag it over to the right-hand side to the USB stick. It'll take a couple seconds to transfer over. 
Now that that's transferred, we're going to go grab the XE Unshackle beta. Double click on that. And what we're going to do is click into there. We're going to grab all these folders and we're going to go ahead and copy them into the USB stick again. Once over here, the readme file we do not need. We're going to click on that. We're just going to go ahead and delete it. Now we're going to go back to the opposite side. Now in here for the tools, because once you get into here on the right hand side on the USB stick, it will be a bad update exploit. It's going to have a default XEX. What we want to do is open up the tools folder on our computer. And we're going to grab the default XEX. We're going to take it, move it over to that folder. Now what we want to do is actually run this patcher. So we're going to do CMD. We're going to just type it into the top and hit enter. That'll open up a command prop window. So just so you guys can see it here. And from there, what we're going to actually do is insert a little tiny script or whatever on top. It's not really a script, just commands or whatever. And what it is is xextool.exe space dash m space r space dash r a and default xex. This is going to change the file. So we just hit enter. It's going to go through some stuff and it's going to change it into a retail encrypted compressed file. Once we have that, we're going to go ahead, grab this file, drag it back over to the opposite side of our USB stick. We're going to replace the file and the destination. Now we're just about there. We have a little bit more to go. We'd still just have the Aurora. Basically, Aurora, once the exploit happens, Aurora is going to actually allow us to jump into the dashboard that RGH is very familiar with, basically. So what we're going to do is create an a apps folder. So we're going to go new folder. We're going to call it apps. We're going to hit enter. Now in here, we're just going to click on that. We're going to take the Aurora, pull it over to the right hand side inside of there. Once it's in here, we're going to actually rename a couple things. And then I think we have a little bit more for a step to go and then we should be done. So this, first of all, we're going to actually rename instead of a long title. We're just going to rename it to Aurora. We're going to hit enter. We're going to go into this folder. There's an Aurora XEX. We're going to rename that to default. Got XEX. Hit enter. Now we're going to go back onto our stick again. You don't have to worry about the content over on our computer. The launch file we're going to open up. Just double click on it. Okay. And now what we want to do is redirect so that the exploit, once it runs, we're going to actually call or have it go into a default where it loads up the Aurora dashboard, basically. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste. Like I said, down below, I'll have everything for you. Default, basically there, we're going to go ahead and paste USB. And that's your stuff right there. And the default XEX. So what we want to do is we want to hit file, save. Simple as that. And as you can see, this basically just got saved to our most recent. And now everything is set up on here. So we don't have to worry about that. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and start up our console again. Once your console starts, you're going to put your USB stick into your console. We're going to go over to games, go to my games, and you'll actually see. Rock Band Blitz. There it is. Just took a while for the, it to recognize the USB stick. We're going to click on Rock Band Blitz there. And now we actually are into the spot. It's very simple now. All we're going to do is load the game, load our save. And then from there, our exploit will start. We're going to hit A to start. It's going to want to know. I'm going to do my USB storage device and running exploit. Should take roughly 30 seconds or less. I did find that depending on what you have for your USB stick running it, sometimes it can take a little bit longer. Uh, I did try it off a different hard drive that I partitioned, not necessarily partitioned, but formatted, and the hard drive just wouldn't load off of. So uh, USB stick seems to be okay every single time. Like I said, somewhere around 30 seconds, it'll actually boot.
there we go. Has been successful. So the hack actually worked. We're going to have this menu here. It tells us our console, CPU key, DVD key, which I have blocked out. Um, we're going to go ahead and save the info to the file. And then we're going to also dump the 1BL, the file. So with this exploit, every single time you shut your console off, you're going to have to go through and actually boot the game again. You won't have to do all the files on your thumbstick because it's already going to be there, but you'll have to reboot your console or not reboot your console, but reboot the game again to activate the exploit. And there we go. Shows on the right hand side, a couple things going on. I did have some some things there. It was actually searching for titles. It was trying to download title updates and stuff. But uh may do it again here. You might actually get the same thing. It might take a couple seconds. But once you have this and set up once, then you're not going to have to wait. Once it goes into Aurora, then you'll be fine every single time. It'll be a fast boot for you. So um, now I don't have anything set up for any games or anything for Aurora for the current time, but I will be making more videos for you guys to show you how you can actually transfer games, um, whether it be like certain Xbox games, Xbox 360 games, uh, arcade games, whatever the case is. But it'll be super simple for you guys. So let me know what you want to see and I'll go ahead and make some more videos. And I'll probably just skip to the end of this so you can actually see that Aurora is actually loaded and that'll be about it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any comments or questions, leave them down below. I'll try and answer them as soon as possible. And that's about it. So we'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.